Welcome to the Weasley Update. <laughs> Welcome to the Weasley Update. I am Aiden Weiss. I am, uh, I'm legally keyed right now, and I'm ready to fucking ramble, hoes. Let's do this shit. That's right. You heard me right. I am now participating in the, uh, delinquent activities of this part podcast legally. I turned 21 yesterday, March 16th. Whoop whoop. That means it's St. Patty's Day. Really not a, a fucking holiday to celebrate, especially considering all the bars are closed due to uh, coronavirus, but I don't really give a shit. I wasn't going to a bar anyways, and I don't think most bars are going to let me in with a vertical ID anyways. Um, God, I have to pay. One, I have to go down to the DMV, which is worse than paying $50 to get a new license because the dmv it's oh god i feel like i fucking am just selling my soul every time i walk in everyone in there just looks so dead and miserable um the only nice person i've ever met at a, met at a dmv was two times and it, it was the same woman and it was in uh north Bend, washington she was just like she had the best customer service and was a little ball of sunshine in a realm of fucking darkness, let me tell you. Especially because the first time I went and um, took my driver's test, I failed. God damn it. Uh, I don't even know what score I got. It wasn't good, though. And the chick who doctored it was a bitch. Um, but the woman who was doing my paperwork beforehand was the super nice lady. And she said something about the rain and being like, yeah, it's good luck, like your wedding day. Um, totally was not good luck, but the next time I came in, she was the person who was doctoring the actual test, and I fucking nailed it. Both times sucked it back and around a corner, let me tell you, but both times I also fucking killed the parallel parking. For, for some reason, that's always been something I, uh, I was capable of, which is pretty difficult for most people. But anyways, it is fucking weird being 21. Let me tell you, I know how ignorant a statement this sounds, but it honestly makes me feel fucking old. And I know that's probably, you know, like it, like I said, that sounds pretty ignorant. That's probably going to piss a lot of people off, but holy shit, man. It's just like I remember being virtually, even 20 years old, just the idea of being 21, not necessarily being that old or getting that far in your life, but like the... You know, that milestone that, like, you can buy alcohol and you can buy weed. Even to the days leading up to my birthday, that just feels so distant. Um, and in some ways, it feels like crossing that is the real, you know, that's when you're really being thrust into a, adulthood. And I don't, I don't actually, you know, mean that, but I, I guess it's sort of hard to explain. I guess it because when you're 18, I mean, I guess when I was 18, you could buy tobacco, but that's now not a thing, is it? You have to be 21 to buy tobacco in Washington. But I can go join the army and go shoot people and get shot at. But I can't fucking smoke a little tobacco or drink, you fucking sons of bitches. Anyways, it just feels like... Having the ability to buy alcohol and weed is such an adult thing, but I feel like, I still feel like so much of a child. And I understand that I am a more childish individual than most people my age. And I don't necessarily mean immature, but I, I do think there is a, uh, a very like youthful, I have a youthful spirit, I think, and like, a romanticized outlook on how the universe goes, I guess, and I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I just feel like the little genius, that little cartoon me on my fucking website and shit, uh, I feel like that just sums it up really well. You know, like the really simplistic, optimistic 1930s animation, like Disney-inspired animation. That's that's the era I, I feel like my soul belongs in particularly in the realm of animation you know everyone talks about that in another life they were this type of animal or whatever the fuck in another life i was a cartoon that's what i fucking feel like 
Oh my god, and here I am. Now I'm fucking 21 years old. Can you believe that? I remember when my sister turned 21. And it's just feeling like, wow. That's so weird. And not, not to say that I ever thought I was, like, gonna die before I reached 21. But I just remember thinking, like, you sort of feel like you'll never get there. And I've crossed this threshold. Even up till last week, I was talking to someone about it. And I was like, yep, and here I am. I've made it to 21. And then I really thought to myself, I was like, fuck, well, not quite yet. We'll see. But I've made it. I've made it. And I legally purchased myself marijuana at 8 in the morning. Or just just after. Um, it, it was a Monday. My birthday yesterday. And uh, the dispensary opened at 8 o'clock in the morning and they closed at like 11.55 or something. But I was worried because I read the night previously that Governor Jay Inslee uh, was going to be issuing something in the morning and like shutting down bars and shit. So I, I was worried about not being able to get weed on my birthday. So Sunday night I got on the website of the place I went to. I'm not sure if I should say their name. I want to just to shout them out, but I'm not going to. Um, that yeah, I, I well I had two options when I looked on the website. I knew I was getting an ounce. I was buying an ounce at a time just because I I know what my weed habits are like, and uh, I I know that that's just what's going to be uh, fiscally the most responsible thing to do. Because if you're just buying eighths all the time, it, it really adds up. Anyways, um, I had two ounces picked out. One was cherry pie that was like 24% THC, which I, th I think most people understand that concept even vaguely. But if you don't, that just basically means it's stronger weed. 24%, definitely not bad. Um, and then I saw an ounce of something called Jack Skellington that was like 21%. Which honestly isn't a huge difference, but I definitely, you know, they're the same price. I, I definitely always go for the higher one, but god damn it, the, I'm just in love with the name of weed that is Jack Skellington. So I went in there, um, for whatever reason, I did not expect it to smell like weed. Like, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but walking into that building for the first time, just opening the door to a place of business and stepping in and having a reek of weed was still pretty jarring. I was just like, sat there, took it in. It's like, this is, this is awesome. Really, really cool experience just walking around there uh, and looking at everything they had from like the bongs and shit to, uh, to weed and, and joints and they even had a little book on the counter where people just drew stuff in. I thought that was awesome. I left a little sketch. Um, but I got there and sort of explained my dilemma. And the, the lady, she was super nice. She was like, you know, I have a cartridge of something called Jack Skellington. And I was like, fucking sold. And I didn't even look, but it turned out later it's a regulator cartridge, which is just a brand of a dab cartridge. You know, you just slip onto a little dab pen. Um... And holy fuck, regulators are the best. So it just all happened to work out. Which felt really, really nice. So I ended up with the cherry pie, the better weed, and I still got my Jack Skellington fill with this goddamn pen. Which I'm actually going to hit right now. I used to be able to rail these. When I first got one, it was for a road trip I took with a couple of buddies of mine. I, I might have mentioned, mentioned it on the podcast before. I took acid at Disneyland on this road trip. Um... And uh, we knew we were going to be smoking. So in the days leading up, I, I got myself this tiny... I, I To this day, I, I haven't found one quite as small. Um, it, it God, I'm trying to think of something to compare it to. It was even like thinner than my fucking Apple Pencil. Just this tiny, rounded little thing. Um, probably like... Fuck. I, I don't know. Uh fuck a third the size of a pencil it was fucking tiny like the cartridge was al almost bigger than the uh, the actual little pen itself which just made it so discreet and also i have this little cup 
you know, this plastic cup in my one of my cup holders, my passenger side cup holder, where I keep pens and stuff, you know, because I always need them. Um, so it just fit in fucking perfectly down there, this little dab pen I got a couple years ago. This was like spring of 2018, spring break. Um, yeah, spring break, really important detail, man. So anyways... I fucking get this dab pen, and I justified it as like, yeah, this will be a, a really smart way to, you know, still be able to get stoned without compromising in terms of like, I'll, I'll still be able to get really baked, uh, but it, it's super discreet, doesn't smell, like, really easy to hide from the cops. Nonetheless, we brought a ton of weed um, in this tiny little bubbler. I mean, this, oh my god. And it, it like is a weird little uh character now like you know when you have a dent on a car and you're pissed off at first but after a while it becomes a part of the character and you don't necessarily like it but there's like a a, a sort of uh, weird connection to it there that's how i feel about this bubbler in retrospect but at the time this thing was so fucking frustrating because it was like oh god it was a pretty small fucking device I, I probably spent like 10 bucks at it or 10 bucks on it i mean and uh you couldn't r like fill in the water from the neck of it it was just basically this uh little bowl piece and then it, it had this you know the, the sherlock holmes looking neck that sort of sprouted up vertically and, and curved out so you could you know hold it in your hand and put your mouth on it and whatever um, and you couldn't pour water down that because it just didn't fucking work. You couldn't pour it down the neck. So we had to pull, pour it in through the bowl piece, which is already a bitch because then before you have to actually put weed in it, you need to dry it out. Um, but this bowl piece was so small that you, I, oh my God, we, what we had to do is we'd pour water into the cap of a water bottle and then pour it into this bowl piece and it would still overflow. That's how fucking tiny this bowl piece was. It would still overflow and we'd have to sit there and wait for that tiny little hole in the bottom of the bowl piece to fucking let the water drain. So anytime we wanted to use it, it no shit took like 12, 12, 13 fucking minutes probably to fill it up. Um, which, you know, made, made me love the dab pen all that more much or all that much more rather. Uh, but I, I still didn't, did not, you know, stop using that thing. I, I was actually still very happy to use it because other than the blunts and joints that my buddy and I brought, um, that was the only like green weed we had. And as, as a veteran stoner, uh, I, I think I'm with most people of this community and saying that not necessarily with oil, but I would rather smoke green than hit a dab pen as, as my main source of, uh, or like my main means by which of smoking weed, I suppose. Um, there are definitely people who prefer oil, uh, but I think that's mostly just people who, who like really dab, like out, out of a rig and shit. Um, and I, I don't want to minimize how much I love these dab pens at all. But there's just something more, like, ritualistically more fun about hitting green weed. And, and it's a little bit of a different experience. Anyways, I, I, dig, I digress. Um, yeah, I was, I was fucking railing that goddamn bubbler. There was actually one night we were parked in a Safeway because we were sleeping in my little Civic this whole trip. Um, we park in a safe way, you know, we've got towels and all the windows and shit so no one can see inside. Fuck it, <laughs> this little two-door Civic hosting three dudes and we all slept pretty comfortably. We, we made it work. Really good trip. But anyways, <laughs> it's, so my car is parked in the Safeway parking lot against, um, not like against a barrier, because this was a really nice looking city, uh, somewhere outside of San Francisco, um, and the Safeway just had big brick walls around it in the parking lot, painted really... It, it was weird. It looked like something out of The Good Place. Uh, some, like, show about fucking heaven. Um, and so it wasn't, like, parked right up against that, but it was parked, like, as far as we could be. There was just this little, you know, median between the parking spot and the wall with shrubbery and that sort of shit. So we're on the... I'm literally crouching with with my two buddies on the other side of this vehicle so no one can fucking see us just we each take a bowl out of this thing and 
uh, I start loading up more, and I'm like, you guys taking another? Both of them are like, no, no, we're fine. I'm going to bed. One of them had a toothache or something. And I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll take another bowl. So they go inside, start, excuse me, they go inside, start getting, uh, you know, situated for the night. And I was like, so I, I took that second bowl. And then I sat there and considering what a bitch it was to fill this fucking uh, bubbler up, I was like, am I really not going to take a third bowl? So I did, and I got so fucking baked, dude. And then I fucking, you know, got in the got in the car, uh, and everyone else was already, you know, they were they were pretty wiped out, so they were really settled in by that point. And I get in, just put my earbuds in, and for probably like forty five minutes, I just listened on repeat to the same song. Uh, it's four side a song I put out a while ago, but just the piano version. Still haven't put the piano version out somehow. Anyways, I just listened to that on repeat for like 45 minutes. And was just like so excited to put it out there and let everyone hear it. And still haven't done that. I really need to fucking figure that out, dude. Anyways, that was all that was all a tangent about dab pens. So that, that fucking trip, you know, was why I got a dab pen. And then when I came back, I just kept using it. And, uh... I'd be using it at school, and then it got to a point, because I've, I've never been like it, I've never used jewels or any of that shit, but I started ripping this dab pen like a fucking jewel. Like, I'm walking around Bellevue College, BC, just railing this fucking thing, like, like it's nothing, dude. There was actually one time in my math class, I pulled it out of my pocket, and then I, I, like, before I could exhale, I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? And just had to sit there. And let it like soak into my lungs until nothing came out when I exhaled. It was a little bit sketchy. But I mean, you know, again, here I am, 21. So I can't get an MIP anymore, a minor in possession. That's crazy to think about. That was something just as a kid smoking weed, drinking. It was so stressful, and I'm sure a lot of people who had similar youthful lifestyles to me can agree that like that having that possibility was always so scary. There could be far worse things, for sure. But anyways, I'm, I'm gonna fucking rip this dab pen. When I was initially ripping them, man, I could just fucking double blink this shit like it's nothing. And one of my buddies is currently doing that. Um. And so he's always like, he'll give me his dab pen and be like, double blink or nothing. Meaning, you know, you rip, hold the button down and rip the dab pen until it can't go anymore and it blinks. Then take another, do the same exact thing. And then hold it in. And it's fucking vicious, man. It is violent. I, like I was sort of getting at it earlier, you know, it's, it's a bit of a different experience hit, hitting oil and, uh, rather than weed, but particularly the harshness. And it is fucking, oh my god, shit's going down in my lungs after a double. And most of the time, I can't even, like, fully complete a double blink. Like yesterday, he tried to get me to do it, and it was embarrassing. Bro, what in the fuck? Alright. Should I try to go for a double blink right now? You know what, I'll try. I'll give it my honest effort, just because I'm on the fucking mic right now. God, I need to grab some water, though, because I know this is going to kill me. Alrighty, got my big jug of water because the Happy Valley water. Um, really just fucking gave the neighborhood in which I live. I am going to bleep that out or fucking something. Uh, the neighborhood in which I live has lead in the water. And it's funny because I was on my university newspaper, la not last quarter, but the quarter before, um, and I was complaining to someone about how shitty my water was, and then someone in that class did a story on how there was a lot of lead in this neighborhood's water. Pretty shitty. All right, anyways, here goes the fucking, the fucking dab pen rip. Real stuff nose right now. I'll do it close to the mic so maybe you can hear the pen rip.
Holy shit. Oh, that was one blink. And I'm honestly surprised I made it. Holy fuck. <coughs> After, oh my god. Dude, no matter how many times I try to do it, I always fucking forget how long it takes, man. <coughs> and tell him, I, I'm always like, yeah, I can do it. Like I just did on the mic. I was like, I'll fucking try it. Then I actually start. And I'm ripping it. And I'm like, how fucking long does it take for this thing to fucking blink at me? Holy shit. Man. Yeah, that is a different world. It's almost like hitting a fucking bong sometimes, dude. Some random person is asking me if I fuck with eating him. I don't actively listen to it, but I don't hate him. Oh god, what is this dude? What? Capri Sun. Capri Sun. I'm sorry, I should not be on Snapchat right now. I don't know what I was thinking. I just ripped that dab in and What? Capri Sun and tequila? Bro, I bet that's absolute. What in the fuck? Buns of absolute man? Finish her off. Oh my god, an animal. Holy shit. That looks amazing. Wow. I really don't like any of the ingredients besides Capri Sun in that fucking drink, but Capri Sun is enough to to get me on board. Are you shitting me? Especially, make that a roaring water while you're at it. Oh my god, that pen already got me so baked. Holy shit. Yeah, it sort of hurt me. Um... So, you know what I did? I'm so happy about this. I purchased myself an iPad Pro, uh, the the big one. I I what? So I was planning on it for a little while. Um, this is gonna sound really stupid, but I I just need it for drawing. It's just, and it like don't get me wrong, I, I will always prefer sketching with pencil and paper pencil and paper just because uh, it's what I've grown up doing and that's just uh, something I don't think a tablet can recreate like the scratch it makes the noise you know it's it's really uh, like meditative um, and, and I recognize that's just because it, it's like what I've grown up doing I, I'm sure if I grew up with a tablet in my hand then fucking just drawing on it piece of paper would be incredibly vexing because let me tell you I'm only a couple days in and drawing on this thing is like it feels like I'm fucking cheating man because boom here's the paint bucket tool just fill in that oh now that whole thing is blue it's um want to erase something that easy I can make layers boom just like that <laughs> it's it is unfucking real and I think that anyone who, who draws, uh, whether it be painting, pastels, like sketching, everyone should should try to not not necessarily buy one, but get their hands on a fucking tablet and just try it out. I, I'm using Adobe Fresca or maybe Fresco. I'm I'm honestly not sure, but it is so easy. Like I I had my buddy Derek over, and uh, I'm just fucking around on it. Not even, you know like necessarily diving in on a project just sort of learning how to use it so i drew this face and then i was like fuck i want to make it a body but that's so i already like you used the whole page to make the face as simple as clicking on one button and it just highlights everything you've done and you can fucking scale it down so incredibly in intuitive and I also purchased the Apple Pencil 2 which is in and of itself is fucking crazy I mean it's got a uh, crazy low latency when it touches the screen meaning the time it takes for um, the screen to react to the pencil touching it is incredibly low uh, when you you know it's pressure sensitive that it's it's so realistic like that so if i'm just you know doing it lightly then it'll 
it'll be drawing light lines but if i press down it's it's really thick um and also if if i hold it sideways it shades like a real fucking pencil which is just it's little shit like that which maybe to people who don't draw doesn't sound like a big deal but that is a huge fucking deal to me though dude it, it is so easy and i have two siblings who are really talented painters which is just a fucking world that is so beyond me man because like i said i'm a sketch artist and i think i'm a pretty fucking decent sketch artist um but there's something about drawing with a pencil or a pen even that's like there, there's a certain stiffness to the tool you know like at, at the very tip it's not going anywhere you i mean every little line you were controlling yourself to the t whereas with painting because the you know the bristles at the edge of the brush are, are so fluid and, and just the nature of the material there's a certain level of it that you're leaving up to the paintbrush and there's a beauty in that for sure but it's really frustrating for me as an artist um just because i'm like i guess a little ocd about that shit when i draw but fuck me i'm going to become a better painting than both a better painter rather than both of my siblings by fucking using this ipad it is so crazy man and like i said i was gonna get the 11 um then i went in to go get it and i was looking at them both the 11 has an 11 inch and then the upgrade is the 12.9 and, and the dude at Best Buy was actually ringing me out. And then uh, I, I was like, you know, what's the price difference? Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, just for a little bit more screen. And I was like, you know, I'm doing it. So I fucking hooked it. I did it. And, you know, you have to buy Apple Care. Apple Care's shitty as fuck. They, you know, you can pay monthly or you pay just the two years up front. But it's like a two year deal where in 24 months you can get your item replaced for two times uh for a fee which is like fucking samsung lets you re they they won't even fix something they'll replace it three times in a year excuse me that's just fucking insane dude so but i, I still got it just because i need it. it gives me a peace of mind and i'm also rocking this zugu case with it um and it is awesome it's it's thin but it's it's uh it covers all the areas it's got a little slot on the back for the apple pencil but it also still has something in the side so you can charge it because the apple pencil just magnetizes to the side of the ipad and that's how it charges and shit <coughs> so the the case accommodates that and it's i think like how most ipad cases are you know it flips open like a book um, flips back and it's got eight little props for a stand uh the stand is also magnetized to those little things the the magnets are so strong you can actually fucking stick this thing on your fridge and just have your ipad hanging out on your fridge which i don't know why you would do um they, they showed that like in the description and i tried it out for myself and it fucking worked but i'm not gonna do that because that's just stupid pretty gimmicky but goes to show how strong the magnets are and the ipad itself is just so thin and so fucking light dude it's it's crazy uh uses USB C, so it definitely charges fast that apple pencil charges super super fast um and the screen itself is just beautiful man it is just fucking beautiful and I, i've really like i said only been drawn on it and that's like all i am gonna do on it I'm going to fuck around with GarageBand. You know, I've got it on my phone, but, uh, you know, I have Logic Pro. That's what I'm recording this on right now, so there's really not much of a point in using GarageBand, but I, I'm definitely going get, to get on there. You know, just, like, use the screen, that big-ass screen, to play the piano a little bit. I think I can even hook it up to my computer and use that as, like, a, a mini keyboard, which would be so fucking dope so there's still a, a lot of shit i need to learn about you know what's so stupid this has been bugging me 
if you don't set up Apple Pay on your iPhone or iPad, it has that little notification, that little red one on the fucking app. But on my iPad, it's been like sending me notifications. Not just notifications that come down like I'm getting a Snapchat, like pop up in the middle of the screen. Add it, Apple Pay to blah, blah, blah. It's like, fuck off. I don't want to do Apple Pay. Stop trying to force me to, you fucking hoe asses. God. Apple as a company fucking sucks my dick, dude. They can suck my dick and eat my ass. Um, but and I know for some of you that's that's going to sound harsh, but that would be the uneducated uh, community of people who are listening to this because Apple is a shady fucking company. Not just in terms of, you know, like... The, their employees fucking living in the warehouses and they it's so bad they have to put suicide nets on the outside of the building but uh just the the fucking shit about like sending software updates to make your products slower and yada fucking yada they're they're as a company pretty shitty but their products are amazing and they used to be really uh innovative too but that's i don't feel like that's very much the case. God, that that pen really fucked up my throat there, bro. Maybe it's Corona, coronavirus. I get, I keep seeing that Cardi B video. If you have not seen the Cardi B coronavirus video, do yourself a favor and watch it because it is so funny. Just like the songs and memes coming from it are so fucking funny. Uh, but this coronavirus shit is fucking serious, man. I've been quarantining, stocked up on a bunch of shit. Um, I was chilling with that friend Derek I mentioned earlier, and he read that thing about, you know, the NBA getting suspended, and he was like, is this the most memorable day in sports history? And it probably will be, dude. Like, he really w was on that. Like, then, you know, a bunch of other fucking uh, big sports started shutting down. I I'm not, you know, really into sports, but I will f say it's interesting that Tom Brady is leaving the Patriots. That's definitely interesting. Uh, production on movies are, are shutting down all over. Movies are getting delayed. Man, it took Disney a fucking long time to delay Black Widow. I'll tell you that much. Um, but also just like unprecedented shit coming from our fucking president. Like, and I didn't, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't look in, into any of this. I just, uh, you know, watched his address to the nation. Um, but tax reliefs and, and other programs for coronavirus, it, it's crazy. You know, a bunch of big names are getting it. And it's, they're only going to keep popping up, but they got my boy Hanks. They got Tom. And they also got Idris Elba. Those fucking sons of bitches. Well, dude, I wish them the best of luck. I, uh, my uneducated intuition says that they're going to be fine. Um, and I'm just going to go with that because I'm optimistic. You know, on a totally other note, I have been uh, watching Westworld. I just started it. It's an HBO show that's like... It's basically like a fucked up Western-themed Disneyland. Where you can just shoot... Uh, all the robots are like incredibly lifelike. You can just shoot them. Fuck them. Like, you can do anything. So there's literally... Pe and <clears throat> it's not like... It's not like they just fucking take it. Like, they react like real people. They're about as close to human beings as possible. So it's just a place where people really just let their fucking evil sides out. Show up, just start shooting at, at people and fucking them. Just fucking raping people. It's pretty fucked up. Uh, the company also uses the robots for like slave labor and I th it's it looks like it's going to and I, I'm only like four episodes in and I'm trying not to spoil anything even to that but it uh, I think where they're going with the show is that you know there's the fucking robots are like getting consciousness as you could probably guess that's where the show would go and if I'm not mistaken it's based off of something like it's, it's a remake maybe i'm gonna look this up real quick is west world <clears throat> a remake oh is it based on a book 
hit television show, Westworld, is a... Oh, shit. I don't want to read this totally, because I... Okay, so I'm reading this off of CNET. Remake. Apparently it's a... Oh, it was a movie. It's a remake of an iconic 70s sci-fi movie. Okay, now I'm looking this up. West world movie the newest season dropped on sunday too and aaron paul is in it whoa okay so there's two of them west world in 1973 and future world in 1976 uh, i'm just gonna read the um synopsis off of imdb let's see <coughs> how close it is to the show or what i've seen of the show a robot malfunction creates havoc and terror for unsuspecting vacationers at a futuristic adult-themed amusement park. All right, yeah, that sounds about right. Let's see who's in this. No one I fucking know, which is a an enormous surprise if you know me. That's actually kind of fucking crazy. Man, I gotta fucking get through that show, dude. Now I, I want to watch the fucking movie. Future World is a sequel? Is it supposed to be the inverse of Westworld? Like another... I don't, I don't know why I didn't just read the synopsis to that. I'm going to guess it's a futuristic themed um, version of Westworld. Westworld movie. Future World. Alright. Future. Future World. Alright. 1976 upon uncovering the dirty secret of futuristic theme park future world an ex-employee is killed after he tips off two other reporters who decide to do an undercover investigation interesting that sounds a little bit more uh, complex than Westworld huh I'm interested I'll have to check out the Rotten Tomato scores and shit but I've never heard of them so probably won't be into them. That's sort of what I've realized. If my mom hasn't previously told me about this movie, I'm probably not going to be super into it. Because her and I have an insanely close taste in movies. Except for there's some movies she, I really love and she just hates. Like Kick-Ass. That's a really good example. I think that movie is so awesome. And, uh, and she does not fuck with it. Oh man, I really wish they were making more fucking kick ass movies. Damn, 937 already? Shit, did I start this like right at 9 o'clock, man? Right before 9 o'clock, because we are 37 minutes in. Oh, just over 38 minutes in. Wow, well, you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That means I'm going to have to fucking call it fucking quits. There's more bulls to be smoked. More shit to be written for this story, and more tunes to be made. So I will catch you guys on the flip. Peace!